praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony, and I'm here today to talk to you about hymns of praise. To Him, Yahuwah, our Lord, our Savior, our King, our Master, who became flesh and dwelt amongst us. God in the flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach. And he lives and moves through us, and we live and move and have our being through Him, Ruach HaKodesh, the Spirit of Holiness. Praise is what I do, saints, and I pray that praise is what you do. One of the hymns I wanted to share with you, uh, written in 1873, Blessed Assurance, written by Fanny Crosby. It resonates today for us saints. It's still sung today. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise is what I do, saints. Praising my Savior all the day long. In 1742 saints Charles Wesley wrote oh for a heart to praise my God we, we have to pray and ask him to help us to praise him because we don't know how to until we know how to and he has to reveal that to us when we have that relationship with him that's where these hymns of praise came from from the heart from the relationship with that man that that man or that woman had with our Lord and one day we're gonna meet these saints in heaven oh for a heart to praise my God 1742 oh for a heart to praise my God a heart from sin set free a heart that always feels thy blood so freely shed for me saints that is amazing again Wesley beseeches our Lord to help him to praise him come thou almighty king help us thy name to sing help us to praise father all glorious or all victor victorious saints he's victorious over all and in our praise and worship time he's already won the battles the victory is mine the victory is yours come and reign over us ancient of days brother Wesley was asking God to help him to be able to praise him saints just ask him Lord just give me the unction I just want to be in your presence I want to praise you he'll meet you where you're at he lives in you you live and move and have your being through him, through your praise, through your worship, through your adoration. It's not about being entertained on Sunday morning, saints. It's about your daily walk with him and your daily praise, your daily worship. Just get alone with him and start thanking him. Thank him just for the trip down to the grocery store and back safely. Praise God. That, that is a miracle today. I think we forget about the small miracles on a daily basis. The greatest miracle that we were ever given was salvation and being born again, saints. You have something to praise him for and he's given you every spiritual blessing. Give him something back. That's your praise. So I'm reminded in Psalm 148 verses 1 through 5, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all ye angels. Praise him, all ye hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all stars of light. Praise him, ye heaven of heavens and the waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created, saints. Echoing this psalm is praise God from whom all blessings flow. 
And that's also from the 17th century by Thomas Ken. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above you heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It rhymes. Makes sense. Father, Yahuwah. Son, Yahushua Hamashiach. God in the flesh. Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness living in us and through us. Wow, we've got something to praise him for. It's not a it's it's not something that we do, it's something that we we're privileged to take part in. Praise him, saints. Praise is what I do. All the glory, all the praise, and all the honor belong to our Lord. And that's where prayer begins and ends. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. If you're giving him praise and you're glorifying him, don't worry about what anybody else thinks about you. Don't worry about what they say about you. Don't worry about the persecution and the trials and the tribulations they're going to come we're going to suffer saints but remember these hymns of praise and just sing them on a daily basis it's not about uh, the new stuff that's coming about all the time sometimes we just need to go back to the old stuff and just sing it from our heart we don't need to, we don't need an audience we don't need any music just me and in, in worshiping in spirit and in truth the one true God Yahuwah Father God, thank you because you gave us explicit instructions in your scripture. Who can give him praise, number one. Why we give him praise, number two. How we give him praise, number three. Where we give him praise, number four. And when we give him praise, number five. We're going to cover all these in the next video. We're going to talk about who gives him praise? Saints, not everybody is entitled and privileged the way that we are. To know him as Lord and Savior, to be able to praise him, to have that audience of one. Think on that today. Hymns of praise. And we'll cover the next video. Who gives him praise? Sister with a testimony praise is what I do. God bless you. I love you.